SmartScript Pro is the leading portable fundus camera in the market. It enables non mitriatic fundus imaging and documentation of patient data through digital images and video. Let's go through the steps for achieving optimal image quality during a fundus examination. The device is powered on and off by pressing the left soft key. Attach the optics module by pressing it firmly into place. To detach the module, slide the release button. The module should be used with an eye cup to give additional stability during imaging. Attach the eye cup by pressing its base around the lens ring. Select preferred focus mode by short pressing the right soft key. Assist mode is active by default. When shutter button is pressed to first position, camera will start focusing once retina is full in view and aim help circle has turned green. If user or patient moves during focusing, camera will restart focusing until good focus is found. Image is taken automatically when aim help circle turns green. This mode enables full automatic imaging but works best only with cooperative patients. Auto mode works in the same manner as in any other digital camera. When auto mode is selected, camera will start focusing immediately as the shutter button is pressed in first position. To capture the image, press the shutter button to second position. Green aim help circle indicates to the user that it is a good time to focus and capture the image. With manual focus selected, you will need to adjust the diopter scale for the refractive error of the patient. By pressing the up and down arrow keys, you can change the focus point of the camera. After selecting correct diopter, image can be captured without additional focus adjustment. Simply approach the eye until the aim help circle turns green. Capture the image by pressing the shutter button to second position. This is the easiest usage mode for inexperienced user and it is also highly recommended for non-cooperative patients. Select right illumination level by pressing the left and right arrow keys. There are altogether 10 brightness levels with a default value of 5. Suitable illumination for a person with blue eyes is typically 3 to 5, for brown eyes typically 6 to 8 and for very dark eyes 8 to 10. Prepare for the examination by making the room as dark as possible. It is very important for capturing images easily. Proper technique, patient direction and patient cooperation are the keys to get the best possible images. To ensure the camera is stable for the image, it is recommended that both patient and examiner are seated during the examination. It is also possible to use the camera for patients lying down. Patient is asked to stay still and look at an internal fixation target. Activate internal target by pressing the left soft key. Move the target by using the arrow keys. To achieve macular centered image, select the middle target. To achieve disc centered image, select either right or left target depending on which eye is being imaged. Hold the camera with one hand and support the optics module with the other, keeping the hand against the patient's forehead. Start approaching the eye from about 10 cm distance. Keep the pupil in the center of the display and approach until you can see the reflection from the retina, which appears grayish with infrared light. The infrared aiming light is automatically on by default. Keep the view of the retina in the center of the display and close in slowly until it fully fills the viewing area. If adjustment is needed to recenter on the pupil, then it is recommended to adjust the module with the hand supporting the optics module. Use only very small movements as it is easy to lose the target. If the view is lost, just withdraw the camera a few centimeters and realign to the pupil. Aim help feature indicates to the user when the aim on retina is good for taking an image. If the circle is red, then the aim is not good and retina does not fully cover the image area. If the circle is green, then the aim is good and image can be taken. Capture image by pressing the shutter button when the aim help circle is green. If assist mode is used, the image is taken automatically as the circle turns green. The smart scope can also be mounted on a slit lamp stand with a special adapter. This will give ultimate stability for imaging as the patient's head is secured and will enable sharpest possible images. In order to ensure a good quality examination, take multiple images. By trying different illumination and focus levels, you can find optimal settings for each patient. It is possible to capture and save three images with only one shot, color, red free and IR images. This feature is enabled in the EY menu. Some other image settings, such as capture mode and illumination mode, 
can also be changed in the EY menu. To activate the menu, press and hold the right soft key. If you need more information about menu functions, please visit us at www.optimate.com slash training underscore material. Finally, let's go through some common mistakes with the help of sample images. If you are seeing some white light on the bottom of the image, you need to push the device slightly closer to the patient's eye. Conversely, if you are seeing white light on top of the image, then the device is too close to the eye and you need to back off slightly. If image is very dark, increase brightness level by using right arrow key. Conversely, if image is too bright, decrease brightness level by using left arrow key to get optimal contrast. If image is not in focus, take a new image with change focus range or focus mode. Taken image is displayed on the screen until the user clears the image by pressing the shutter, left or right soft key. Image can be zoomed in the instant preview by pressing the middle key. There are four zoom levels. Pressing middle key activates the next level. Move around the image by using the arrow keys. Images are uploaded to the computer by placing the camera on the cradle. Image transfer works through USB connection in a similar way as with any other digital camera. It is also possible to transfer images with Wi-Fi as the taken image will wirelessly appear on the computer screen right after the image has been taken. If the camera is mounted on the slit lamp, image can be transferred to the computer with the slit lamp cable. Taken image will then appear on the computer screen right after the image has been taken. If you need any help, please visit us at www.optimate.com support.